Hi, my name is Daryl Gingrich. I'm the owner here at Cold Springs Garden Center. And this morning I'd like to just give you a brief insight of how that we germinate a lot of our seeds and we grow our own plugs. This is our seed germinator that I built out of an old refrigerator. It seems to work quite well. We gutted the refrigerator down to the bare doors and build a rack system in here that holds 40 flats of the 288 seed trays. And in the top I have some LED lights running around in here for things that need light to germinate like petunias and impatiens and coleuses. And then the bottom part is, is more dark because there's no lighting down here. And this is where we do tomatoes and peppers vincas and things like that that really don't need the, the light but they need more dark to germinate. These are just some neat little racks I build in there and it holds like I said it holds 40 flats. The steam is generated in the bottom of the unit and the steam and the heat rises all the way to the top. Keeps the unit stays really nice and even with about 100% humidity and we try to hold it at about 75 to 78 degrees and in that environment seeds must germinate. This is a flat of violet impatience and these were seeded on 131 and they're up really nice and even you can tell there this is uh, less than two weeks old and they're looking good. There are also uh, some others here. This is an orange one, and these were also just seeded on the same day. And notice how nice and even they're up. There's there's a few slow ones coming, but uh, I think we have over well over 95 percent germination rate. Here's also some Dusty Miller. These were done on uh, the 25th of January. They're coming up a little bit slow, but again, we're looking good there. Here's a, a flat of Hypoestes, and these were seeded on the 31st of January. Again, it's less than two weeks old and looking really great. It seems like if you give the seeds a really good jump start on germination things just really go to town well. This is a flat of Better Boy tomatoes. These were seeded seven days ago and they're coming up really nice and even here. There's a few dead cells but I'm using some last year's seed so we don't always get a hundred percent germination if you're using old seeds. Good seeds are very very important. But again what we like about the way that we germinate our seeds especially on tomatoes and peppers we get a really even jump start there and uh, when these end up in the flats to be sold they will be nice and even. Again, some more tomatoes. These are park swappers. And uh, again, look at how even these are. These again were seeded seven days ago and are already looking that nice. Here's a flat of gazanas. These were seeded uh, 125 and they're looking really good. They will be ready to pull and transplant into the larger cell cups probably in another two weeks. Here's a flat of coleus that was seeded on the fourth as well five days ago and uh, we just pulled these out of the germinator this morning. Again we got some nice little green things coming there. Perfect time to pull them out and get them in the sun.